Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and today we are going to be continuing with our discussion on prediction of plates. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. Draw the predictions of a regular hexagon of 25 mm side having one of its sides in the HP and inclined at 60 degrees to the VP and its surface making an angle of 45 degrees with the HP. Okay. Now having read the question, now let's extract data. Object obviously is a regular hexagon. All the sides are 25 mm each. Now there is this condition which has been given to us. One of its sides in the HP. So let us write that down. One side in HP. Apart from that, if you watch carefully, surface is making an angle of 45 degrees with HP. That means theta surface is going to be equal to 45 degrees. Now apart from that, there is this edge which is already in contact with the horizontal plane. And at the same time, it is kept inclined at 60 degrees to the VP. So any inclination associated with VP is denoted by phi. So phi edge or phi side has been given to us as 60 degrees. Okay, now that all the data have been worked out, we'll now go ahead and try to solve this. Rather, I should say, we'll try to draw this. Okay, so I've divided this entire solution into two parts. In part one, I'll be giving you a demonstration as to how the object has been really kept with reference to HP and VP. What shall be our initial assumption from where to begin, whether it's going to be the front view or the top view, all these kinds of stuff I'm going to be dealing in part one. And then in part two, we'll simply draw. So let's begin now with part one. So guys, this in front of us is what you call a hexagonal plane having negligible thickness. All right. The two most important things that have been given to us in the problem are number one, surface inclination. Surface is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees, 45 degrees with the horizontal plane. Okay, so our initial assumption is going to be like this. We are going to assume that this entire surface has been slammed onto the horizontal plane or you can just say that this entire surface is resting onto the HP. And then you just got to think from where you can see the true shape of this surface. Obviously, its true shape can only be seen from the top. And hence you have to begin by making the top view first. This is what you're going to see. Okay. Let me come to the second point now. If you watch carefully, this is the top view. Okay, you guys are watching this right now from the top, not from the front. Now, if this is the top view, above this top view, there is going to be an XY line. And if you watch carefully, if I can extend this, this angle made over here is equal to 90 degrees or it is perpendicular to XY line, you can see. This edge is perpendicular to this XY line. Why have I done so? Because there is an edge which has to be kept at an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical plane in step number 3. So whichever edge in step number 3 is inclined to HP or VP, it initially in step 1 has to be inclined at an angle of 90 degrees with this XY line. Or you can also say it has to be kept perpendicular initially in step 1 with respect to this XY line. Okay. So our initial assumption is this. Assuming that this entire surface is resting on HP, based on this, we're going to be making the top view and the front view. This is going to be the step two, okay, 45 degrees angle, okay, then uh, front view and top view. And then finally, you can do this smaller edge, okay, making an angle of 60 degrees with the VP, okay, it can be seen from the top. You can do it like this. You can also do it um, like this also, this way also. It completely depends on you, okay, thank you. Okay guys, now that we are done with part one, we'll now go ahead and try to draw the projection for this particular case. So initially, since the surface is inclined to HP, we'll be assuming that the entire surface of this hexagonal plane is resting on the HP and based on that, the true shape of its surface can only be seen from the top and hence we are going to begin by making the top view. So let us try to make the top view. Here we go. So this is a 25 mm long line. Know very well that the internal angles in case of a hexagon are 120 degrees. I'm speaking of a regular hexagon, okay? So what essentially needs to be done is 120 degree clockwise with reference to this line and 120 degree anti-clockwise with reference to this line again. There you go. What's next? Okay, we need two more points over to this side. How can they be made? Just draw two horizontal lines from these two points, something of this sort, and then Take your compass, set it to 25 millimeter or take 25 mm as the radii. Then with this guy as the center, put an arc, this guy as the center, put an arc. You're going to get two points. Okay, then join them. That's the hexagon I was talking about. Now let's name each and every corner. Let's say A, B, C, D, E, F. That's it. 
okay now let us take a look at this from the front this is entirely resting on the horizontal plane and hence its projection or its front view is going to be lying somewhere here in this x y line exactly this is going to be b dash comma a dash this is c dash comma f dash and this over here is d dash comma e dash let us join them there you go so the step one is over where we initially assume that this entire surface is resting on hp okay based on that assumption its front and top view has been made now if you watch carefully guys this side ab has been kept at an angle of say 90 degrees if you watch carefully let me try to draw this um okay now we also know that edge inclination can be done in step three so whichever edge is to be implied in step three it initially has to be kept perpendicular to this x y line okay so we are going to be inclining this a b edge um in step three you'll see that okay in step two we have to go for surface inclination now surface is inclined to hp guys okay just think about this if the surface is inclined to hp from where can you see this angle from where can you see this inclination obviously this inclination can be seen from the front so what essentially we're going to be doing is i'll be trying to recreate this front view in step number two at an angle of 45 degrees because that's the surface inclination so let's go ahead and do that let me recreate this point that is b dash comma a dash point over here okay something like this let me make a line 45 degree long line and i'll try to recreate these points c dash comma f dash over here something of this sort let me show you okay and again you can take uh, the help of your compass okay keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with this guy as the center you need to cut an arc that's going to be point d dash comma e dash all right now let's try to take a look at this inclined hexagonal surface or inclined hexagonal plane rather from the top okay let's go ahead and do that let me bring the projector lines downwards and let me have the projector lines from the left to the right and here we have the intersection points this point is going to give you point a okay let me let me try to make this uh, this point is going to give you point b like this is the horizontal for a and this is the vertical for a okay you have the intersection similarly you can work out the remaining points a b c d e and f let us join all of them so this appears as if it has been squeezed now let's go ahead for edge inclination now we know very well that the edge this a b edge which we have kept perpendicular okay has to be kept at an angle of 60 degrees with the VP and any sort of inclination with reference to VP just think about this any sort of inclination with respect to VP can only be seen from the top so what essentially we're going to be doing is we are going to recreate this top view over to this side that means in step 3 making sure that this edge AB is kept at 60 degrees all right so let's try to do that but before that let me show you one more thing let us assume right now that this hexagon has been inscribed into this rectangle please see where the mouse is hovering okay into this rectangle let's say this is one and let's just say this is two um this is three and this over here is 0.4 so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be making sure that this side of the rectangle has been kept at 60 degrees angle if that is so then automatically this ab side also will be inclined at an angle of 60 degrees that's exactly what i'm going to be doing let me show you how so this is the 60 degree angle let me fit in this exact same rectangle one two three four rectangle over to this side this is going to be one all right this is two okay. same dimensions three and this is going to be four yeah that's it what do we need now we need to take an arc okay so keep one leg of your compass at one other leg at a and with one as the center you need to put an arc and that's how you're going to get point a similarly you can take this much as the radii 2b as the radii and then with 2 as the center you need to cut an arc over here and that's how you're going to get point b all right if you want point c you can uh, keep one leg of your compass here at 2 other leg at c and with 2 as radii you need to cut an arc over here and that's how you're going to get point c similarly the remaining points can be worked out these are all the points and when joined in proper sequence here you have it the hexagon okay now you can see very clearly that this ab has been inclined at an angle of 60 degrees all right now let's take a look at this from the front and let's have the projector lines from bottom to top and from left to right and then let us locate the intersection points if you watch carefully this horizontal line is meant for a dash and b dash this is the vertical for a that's going to be point a for you a dash rather okay this is going to be point p dash all right 
similarly if you watch carefully this horizontal line is for c and f okay so this is going to be point okay c dash that's it horizontal for c and this was the vertical for c and similarly the remaining points can be worked out pretty easily okay that's how you're going to do it let us join all of them and that's exactly what you get when a hexagonal plane has a side on the hp apart from that it has been inclined at an angle of 45 degrees that means its surface has been inclined at an angle of 45 degrees with the hp and apart from that a side which is already in the hp has been kept at an angle of 60 degrees with the vp so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can benefit i'll see you again with some more problems based on engineering drawing and some other topics also until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing